this is Maggie. So I'm back again. Um, today is Sunday and I did get my um, oil pastels delivered and I wanted to kind of do an uh, unboxing that and um, also what I did today is I took different type of surface paperwork that I have of uh, uh, watercolor paper, canvas, um, different kinds of um, papers that I'm working and trying them out just to see what paper works best. Um, this was the one that I was sitting in my desk. Um, let me do a close up to guys see if you can see the texture. And I didn't spend too much time, but it, it, it has a little bit of texture. Um, and this is the cheap watercolor and it, it really, it, it took very well actually. I do like it. Uh, um, applying using this paper for the oil pastel. I also did a um, I also did this one here. Now this one here is um, again um, with a little bit of more um, texture. This is another watercolor pad that I have. Um, cheap one too. And this this one worked really really good. Um, although I did notice, I think I'm putting kind of notes. In the blending was a little bit harder to do the blending. It wasn't really taking um, as well as another one that I tried. Um, but this one came out pretty good. Um, still needed to work a little harder to get to apply the colors to this page. Um, the other one that I, to my surprise, I actually have a canvas. It's for, it's for Master Touch Canvas Pad. This one. And it's actually the canvas, loose canvas. canvas. So, um, I play with it and I think this was the best. It does have that rigid, but not so deep, um, texture. And she came out and it was so easy to apply it so easy to mix it with the crayons or with the pastels or or with the fingers so this one actually to my surprise has been so far the best however i decided that i was going to try it also on the this type of paper here which is the and for this one i figured you know this is for the um it's called this uh strap more tone tan and it's for drawing and the paper on this one is literally very smooth very very smooth so for this one i'm like okay i'm gonna do something quick something quirky quirky something different and i'm working on it um, i'm gonna get i'm gonna finish it with you guys but this one actually the the pastel of it was sliding on the paper which was awesome blending so well i'm gonna get this one finished you guys get to see it but let me turn the camera around and show you my unboxing the um oil pastels that i order and something that i did when i went to hobby dobby i thought that i was buying the paper um because i did see it i don't know how i did it but i thought i picked the paper for oil pastels um it was a little one like this and it was maybe eight dollars um it was very tiny and um i picked that up but for some reason i don't know if i put it back and i was checking something else or i put back the wrong one i ended up buying another set of um oil pastels which is this one here um and this one is actually the ones i've been using so i've got new ones and i got more and i figure okay i've been using them a lot and, and you do a lot of blending so i'm pretty sure that i'm gonna go I'm um, gonna need new ones. So I have this new one. So I'll show you how this one looks. And then the delivery that I received today from Amazon is called the Gallery um, Artist Soft Pastel, this one. And then we'll just practice. I'm gonna let you see how it is. And I'll do like a little um, swap on, on the page. This particular one that I'm working on, which I, to my surprise, didn't think was gonna take well. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use that. So I'm gonna turn the camera, you guys get to see what I'm doing. So you guys, um, let me turn this off. 
wondering what I'm using. This is a little um, vacuum cleaner. It's a little tiny one for the desk. It's like a desk vacuum cleaner. And it has, and it sucks in all the things the table right away. I have a lot of things on my table. Cleans it really well. And then you open it here. Probably pour it back on the table, but you see it picks up everything. You just throw it in the garbage. So I use that to clean my table. I found this at Amazon a little while ago. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that. Maybe that's the name. D-I-A-D-E-M. It's a little desk vacuum cleaner. I think if you put it in Amazon as a desk that vacuum cleaner, you can find that. Anyway, so let's go ahead and um this is the one that i ordered that is actually the one that i have that i've been using these are very old so maybe because this is new maybe a little bit better not sure probably not but i did this is maybe this one maybe something that i might go ahead and order because this is very creamy so you guys can see it i'm gonna try to bring more light here and see if that helps yeah it's through portfolio series oil pastel and i have every time i wanted a big area or uh, something that smooshed really good on the paper i'm telling you so far it has been this one but i'm gonna try the new one that i have here but i think i'm gonna order these because i really have been using them and i like them this is a little more harder um to smear um, it does leave shitty people do the test see, like, even if you put it in your hand see you don't you pick it up a little bit but when you do this look look see it's so creamy so this is actually I would recommend this one to get this one I may I still have them I think it's just a set of I don't know I think I have eight of them is it eight that I have one two three four I think I have eight. Yeah, and I have the white one. There's about eight of them. And these other colors, purple, white, red, um, blue, pink, green, and orange. But I like it. I really like the feel of it. Every time I use them, I'm like, oh, this is really good. So I like it, those a lot. Now, um, this is the, the, the one that I ordered. Not order. I went and I bought thinking it was the paper for some reason. I, I know I was looking at the papers. But I think when I went to put back this one, I put back the paper and not this one. So I ended up buying a new set, which I'm going to keep because I've been using them. And um, I'll do my test with the new set. And these are the colors. So it's a total of 36 colors. Let's see? Let's see if you guys can see it. See? Let me show you. See? that's pretty nice um look pretty good this is supposed to be the gray you still can see it on my skin see all right so we'll we'll practice with that and then that is the oil pastels from pentel arts and then the one i order from amazon it is this one it's the artist is the gallery artists of oil pastel and then he has that picture here sorry about the glare I'm trying to get this as light as possible and we'll go ahead and open this um, here we go it actually has this over it and then you got all your colors here this is 48 colors these are the colors okay and then for the test wow i can tell the difference oh my goodness this is definitely much creamier than the other one this is really good wow look at that Oh yeah, I think I'm gonna love these. All right, and then 
we are going to do some tests. Let me bring this here. Let's use the one from Ventel. I'm just gonna do a, a red square here with orange and yellow. So we'll just kind of, we have the orange, let me, the orange, I mean the red, <laughs> the orange, and the yellow. So you can see for this paper, when you use your fingers to blend, it doesn't work well. So you kind of have to use the, the pastel oil to do the blending and it works fine too. It works fine. And then I, 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 I don't know if you from my video, I use this brush, it's a real soft brush. It's like a watercolor brush, just to a little part. And let's see if you guys can see. Oh, my lighting, it's getting dark, so probably my lighting is hurting again. All right, so that's that with this paper, which is this, the cheap watercolor paper. Cost me maybe five dollars. And then we'll do this one, which I'm pretty sure this is going to be different. Um, for this one, I'm going to do the same thing with the reds. So we'll do the red, and I can tell, wow, I can tell the difference in how soft when you're applying it. Then we have the orange. And we finish with the yellow. So wow, even blending with the crayons, it's amazing. Wow. And then finish with the put in the blue one. My red and my orange are almost the same color here. I should have picked another orange. Maybe this orange. Yeah, that's more orange. And then when it comes to using your fingers, wow. See? See if you can tell the difference. Look how smooth that is. And here when I use my fingers, it's really hard to get it moving. So definitely for this, these so far are very good for this paper my opinion <laughs> all right let's do the tryout now with this is the same paper as that one so I'm expecting to be the same result but let's do it with my canvas which was I was so impressed when I was using these on the canvas so we'll do again a square three colors and then you can start blending and then see much better for blending purposes it's much better. This is with, oh, I don't know if you guys are seeing it, but that is with the canvas. Now I'm going to use the same thing with, with the new gallery um, that I ordered from Amazon. Yeah, <laughs> it's just, I can see that it's already easy to apply you can blend though you don't even have to use your fingers it's blending so well and then oh, so 
sorry guys I'm off and then we can yeah good result so both of them kind of look good but this was easier to work with it's more creamier is basically it so let's go ahead and finish my my quirky lady here <laughs> and I'm gonna probably be using both since I have them out and um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm gonna now switch it to uh, the new pastels, the ones from the gallery, uh, which are the real creamy one. I just did a little bit here and I just love it how um, you can apply it here. See? Just love it. Look at that. Awesome. Wow. I really do like this one. <laughs> 